What's going on YouTube? Still maintain T here back with the Charlotte Hall video. Uh, yeah, so um, this is going to be featuring all the die casts I got at the Charlotte Trat and picked up at Scott's Collectibles, which is one of the greatest stores, may I add, to ever go if you want to get some old uh, old NASCAR die casts, maybe even some newer ones, 2015, 2016. Um, but yeah, so today in the this part of the Charlotte Hall video, we're going to be looking at the 2013s and some of the other items that you might see in the back. Um, but yeah, so let's go in for a closer look at our die casts. Alright guys, so here's our first 2013 diecast I picked up. Picked this one up at Scotch Collectibles. Um, but yeah, this is Brian Scott's 2013 Rainex uh, Patriotic car, as you can see, see uh, shown by the Nationwide banner. And there's a couple of red, white, and blue stars on the bottom here. Um, yeah, I'll go into detail about that diecast, but first, here's the box, um, RCR Nationwide Series. Come on, focus. Brian Scott, number two, Rain-X Salutes, 2013 Camaro, limited edition. But yeah, so here's the actual card. It's a very nice looking card. Text, I think it's... A very underrated scheme. I think this is one of the best schemes. Probably. I like the... It's also got... Uh, paired with the uh, Advanced Auto Parts. That's at Shore Lodge. This is just one beautiful die cast. If you have the opportunity to pick this one up, do it. You will not regret it, and it will be a great addition to your collection. But that's just one of the 2013s I got. The only Nationwide Series one I got. So yeah, let's head on into the next die cast. Alright, so this diecast will probably get a couple people excited, maybe a couple people talking, but this is Dale John Hart Jr.'s number 20, th 2013, number 88, National Guard, Soldier of Steel, Superman movie, I think, was it released around this time, probably. It's got a very, it's, as you can see, like, you can see this is a very flat painted car. It's very rough textured. But guys, this is one beautiful car I love. My favorite colors, if you guys don't know, are black and red. And I mixed them on a car, and I think it looks very, it looks beautiful. National Guard, Earnhardt Jr., Mountain Dew. Let's look at the box. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Hendrick. says, Dale Earnhardt Jr., number 88, National Guard, Man of Steel, 2013 SS. So we had the Camaros, and the SS is running for Chevy in 2013. But guys, this is also a very nice car. Uh, not one of the ones I was looking for specifically, but when I saw it, I took it out of the box just to like look at it, see if I actually wanted it. And guys, I am not regretting getting this car because this is <laughs> this is a very beautiful car. I'm looking for Dale Jr.'s Xbox One Mountain Dew and its Time Warner cable paint schemes from 2013. But this is a very nice paint scheme, and I I do not regret getting this. So yeah, and now we're going to go on to our next 2013 diecast. Now guys, this is probably my favorite diecast that I might have gotten maybe the entire weekend. But this is one I was after for a while. It's a Jimmy Johnson's 2013 Jimmy Johnson Foundation car. I, I've seen this scheme before on the uh, NASCAR Authentics, the Spin Master ones back in those days. Uh, it's just a very beautiful design. I love the paint scheme on it. I uh, got the Jimmy Johnson Foundation symbol. Uh, Helmet of Hope. I'm not really sure what that was. But, guys, this paint scheme is just golden. I love because he did uh, run in 2014. His primary paint scheme was, you know, the uh, blue stripes. Not the yellow numbers, but, guys, these two colors. Normally, I don't really like these two colors, but blue and white. Just like Jeff Gordon's Exalta something, I think he ran at Michigan in 2013. This is just a beautiful scheme. Uh, this is one. This will probably. Uh, this is the only 2013 Jimmy Johnson car I have, so I'm very glad to pick this one up. Hoping to find his two primary schemes from that year, uh, the black and the blue one. But guys, that is just a very beautiful scheme. I'm glad I was able to find that. It's probably my favorite one I got. Uh, we got Jimmy Johnson Hendrick. Come on. Jimmy Johnson, uh, number 48, Jimmy Johnson Foundation, 2013, SS. 
So yeah, all around a very beautiful paint scheme. I'm glad I picked this one up. And uh, we'll move on to our final 2013 car. All right, guys. So this car is a very. This is probably a gem for a couple of people. Um, I'm glad I saw that. I'm surprised that I saw this, but it's uh, Austin Dillon's number 2013 rookie number 33 Honey Nut Cheerios car. Uh, a very. I think it's a kind of a forgotten about car. Uh, Double E Dud kind of showed this off. I know he used this in his races, but um, I had the Austin Dillon number 33 in my Sijin, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it, but my my Kogan or whatever it is. I have that one. I have Ron Fellows, Canadian Tire number 33. So I have two 33s from 2013, but I'm glad I was able to pick up the primary. As you can see, it's an early, early 2013 because there is a, no Chevrolet on the banner. It's got rookie stripes because him and Kyle Larson were both running part-time rookie year, 2013. Uh, Some co-spawn. Let's see. Some other sponsors we got. Drive for Cop or something. Kroger Honey Nut Cheerios. Got the B on the side. This is, uh, I think, also another forgotten or underrated paint scheme. And, guys, I'm just really glad I was able to find this one. Uh, I know a bunch of you guys out there are probably looking for this car. But I and I say good luck finding it. But, uh, yep, here's the box. You got Austin Dillon, the Art CR. Austin Dillon, number 33, Honey Nut Cheerios, 2013 SS. So, guys, that will conclude the 2013 portion of this video. Now, we're going to move on to a couple of the uh, one-off items that I got. All right, guys, so this diecast will get a lot of heads turning. This is uh, number 52, AC Delco Chevrolet Truck Series official diecast. Uh, it's a Chevy... I think it's Silverado, but I'm not really sure what it was back then. There's no markings on it. This is Ken Schrader's car truck. As you can see, this is the box that came out. I picked this one up. Not at Scott's Collectibles, but I picked this one out. One of the uh, tents outside of the racetrack at Charlotte. Uh, one of 20,160. Uh, and so just a clear box. It says S truck at the bottom. but And that's all that it came with. Uh, so, yeah. I got a couple other trucks, but they're in the packaging, and we'll look at them later. But actually, you know what? We're going to look at another truck next. All right, guys. So I do have what I was saying before. I do have a couple other trucks that were in the packaging. Uh, I do not have those with me, and those will be a separate part of this Charlotte Hall video. But I did get this one at Scott's Collectibles. This is uh, Jim Hensley's number 43 Cummins truck. It's a Dodge, which is a very cool thing to see. Uh, it's on this base. Which is definitely a removable, just a simple Phillips head screwdriver. I'm not really sure what this is. Quality since 1945. It's probably just a company. Uh, Touch T, 1-800-T1 Petty. Because this is probably Richard Petty Motors. Oh, come on, focus. You gotta take my word, but anyway. Here's a box that came in, a very... Uh, big box it's actually bigger than a normal 164 box about as long as one but authentic diecast replicas reveal revel or reveal whatever from 1997 nights because it says 97 season companies every oh there it is precision engineered so on the stand that was the name of the company i made it all right back checkered flag limited edition that's all there is to this box, but, um, yeah. So those were the two trucks, and we'll move on to the final one-off. All right, guys, so probably my favorite one-off item I got over the entire weekend. Picked this up at Scott's Collectibles. They had a couple of other dirt modifieds. I'm pretty sure these are. But uh, this is the Jeff Gordon, uh, I'm just going to call it, dirt modified car. It's got Hoosier tires. Come on. Yep, it's got Hoosier Tires, excuse me, Pepsi, National Guard, DuPont, Jeff Gordon Foundation, www.jeffgordon.com, 24 on Quaker State. Here's the chassis underneath. It's got rubber tires. Uh, it says over here, it says ADC, made in China. That's the company I think that made it, ADC. Uh, but guys, this is a 
this is amazing looking car. I this is the only ver like kind of car like this dirt modified that I own. I'm very glad to have it. I was gonna hopefully pick up a couple other ones like Kurt Kyle Bush's and Tony Stewart's, but they were a little bit on the expensive side, fifteen dollars at Scott's Collectibles, so I had to pass on them. But here's the box. It looks very awesome. Jeff Gordon Foundation Action uh, 24 flames all over the box. ADC Jeff Gordon number 24. And it's got their uh, pin number, one of 1,500, 164 scale dirt car. A Platinum Series, uh, Signature and Platinum Series again, uh, for 15 years. So guys, this is probably my favorite one-off that I got, and I'm just so stoked to finally have a car like this. But um, yeah, so that'll conclude today's review. Uh, today's section of the video uh, gonna be uploading the uh, next section which you guys will see what year or era those cars are from in the next video so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next part